Um, the topic that I'm going to be dealing with this morning is, I am a first fruit. I am a first fruit. Now before I get to the scripture, I actually want to just discuss, so you understand, what is a first fruit. Alright, the first fruit was something that got out of their harvest or out of the work that they did. The first thing that they took out, they would then dedicate that to the Lord. And they would sit down and say, God, we're bringing our first fruit. Something that was not normal, wasn't part of their normal daily thing. It was something that came as an abnormal thing. And so the, ad, the first fruit was something that the, uh, that the believers and the Jews take and they give a gift or a portion to the Lord. And the Bible says that God makes the first fruit. He sees it as very, very important. All right. So the first fruit of the believers is Jesus Christ. Okay. So Jesus Christ is the first fruit of the Christians. In other words, he was the first Christian Okay, basically, as we know, a Christian, somebody to be raised from the dead. Okay, he's the first fruit of the believers. But I want to deal with us as a human race. James chapter 1 verse 18 says this. Of his own, this is God speaking, of his own will. Okay, God decided this. He brought us forth by the word of truth. In other words, our existence came by his word. Remember when Jesus Christ, uh, God the Father came and he breathed on Adam? Okay? When whatever God spoke, things happened by the word of his truth. That we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. In other words, everything that God had created, everything, the angels, the beings, the spiritual beings that we don't even know about. The animals. Everything that God has ever created. He wanted man to be the first fruit. He wanted man to be the one that was special. He wanted man to be the one that stood out. He wanted man to be the one that ultimately he would send his son to die for. Out of all the creations, out of all the creatures that God ever made, He chose to make the human race His first fruit. So we are a first fruit of the Lord, the Father. And so I want you to see today that you are exceptionally important. You are exceptionally valuable. And that's why whenever you come and you give an offering of a first fruit offering, that's why we call it the first fruit offering, God takes huge honor in that. Okay, if you'd like to get more teaching on first fruits, I've done a lot of teaching on it. Just go and look it up. Okay, you can get it on YouTube. Just type in Dr. Arthur Frost first fruit or go look on our app. Type in first fruits. You'll get it. I'm not going to teach too much on that. But the point is, first fruits were very important. And God the Father decided that you are so important. That you'll be considered a first fruit of all these creatures. And I want you to know that if ever you feel like I have no significance or I am not important. I want you to think of this scripture. That God out of his own will, by the word of truth as he spoke it, created you to be a first fruit. You were created to be a first fruit. Against all of other creations. So I want you to know that not only are you special. Not only are you important. But God has got a mighty plan for you in Jesus name. Know that God has got something in store for each one of us. And so as we trust God. As we believe God. I want us to understand how important we are. I want us to understand that we are valuable. And that is why Satan is trying so hard, so hard to disrupt us, to destroy us, to break us, to kill us, to do everything he can. Because he knows that we are the apple of God's eye. We are the important one. We are the treasure. We are the prize. There is nothing more important for God than the human race right now. And so I want you to know that Satan is trying everything to come against us. 
But we are going to stand, we are going to endure, we are going to release the power that has been given to us to reverse whatever Satan is trying. I want you to know that not only are you special, not only are you anointed, not only are you valuable, but let me tell you something, you are powerful. In the mighty name of Jesus, you've been given the name of Jesus and you've been given the power of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, as you release things, things start creating, things start changing. And so I want you to know this morning that you are not here by accident. You are not here by chance. And you are not in this season, in this nation, in this time for no reason. God has got a mighty plan for each and every believer. So as we come to the table this morning, I want us to celebrate that we are the first fruit. And that we are more important than any other creature that God ever made. Let us pray together. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ is broken for your, uh, for your emotional and physical healing. The cup was the blood of Jesus. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The blood was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So saints, I want to tell you right now, as we take of the elements today, I want you to celebrate that you are a first fruit, you are valuable, you are powerful, and you represent God on this earth. And so as we take, let's celebrate the fact that God made a decision to choose you. Let's pray. Lord, we ask you right now this morning to please forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong motive, any wrong attitude, any wrong action. We ask you please to forgive us. Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that you have chosen us, that you out of your own will chose to create a human race. And Lord, that you have said it's like a first fruit. Lord, that we are important, we are valuable, we are powerful. Lord, we thank you for sending Jesus Christ. God, we thank you that you sent Jesus to die on the cross and make a way for us. And Lord, I thank you right now that we are going to flow and move by the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. We thank you for the price that was paid. Amen. Let's partake. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the power of God that rests on each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord, that the dunamis power of God operates in our life. And Lord, right now, in Jesus' name, we release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. We command every single symptom to leave us. Lord, we thank you that you are moving by your Spirit in each one of us. And Lord, right now, we command every symptom to leave our bodies. We thank you, Lord, that we are healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to just tell you that we are standing together. We are praying across the nation around this COVID virus. All right. And I see that there is a prayer meeting that has been called for three o'clock today. I don't know who has called it, but let me tell you something. Let's join it. I want to encourage every believer three o'clock today. Stand in front of your house and pray over this COVID virus in Jesus' name. All right, just pray and trust God that this thing, we're going to stand united. We're going to stand as one and we're going to pray against this virus in the name of Jesus. In fact, what I'm going to do at 3 p.m. today, I'm going to come on live and we're going to stand together. I want you to stand outside your house and just watch and stand in agreement at 3 o'clock today. I'm going to come on and we are going to pray together with everybody else that's praying. All right. I have no idea who has called us. I've got many messages about it, but it doesn't matter who has called it. We are going to pray. Let's pray together as a nation. So at 3 p.m. I will be on live on uh, Facebook and we are going to pray together. We're going to stand united and we're going to pray over this virus as we do daily. 
But when the body of Christ is praying, there is unity. When the body of Christ stands in agreement, there is power. And so I want you to know that God is going to move over our nation in Jesus' name. And so I just want to remind you that we are still on a little bit of a go slow on our side. All right. And so 10 o'clock today, Pastor Donnie will be taking the service. And our praise and worship team, we've given them a bit of a break. All right. And then tonight at 6 o'clock, I'm going to be rebroadcasting one of the highlights that I have uh, put together for you. Okay, so I want to bless you. I want to say thank you very much for standing together. So let's just pray together over this COVID issue in our nation. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray over this COVID uh, virus. We command it to die, to dissipate, and to leave our nation once and for all. Lord, we thank you that every single COVID curve will flatten and dissipate in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for a supernatural protection over every single person. Lord, we stand on Psalm 91 that no plague will come near our dwelling in Jesus' name. Lord, we raise the standard of protection. And Father, we put the bloodline around every single person's home in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, right now, I thank you that as we stand together as the body of Christ, we are going to see the power of God move in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Lord, right now, I thank you that every single person who is infected with COVID, we command a supernatural healing right now. We release the power of God. We release the word of the Lord. And we command their bodies to be healed and every symptom to leave them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints... Before I do the declaration, I just want to remind you about the testimony book that we are putting together. Okay, we're putting together a book called A Book of Remembrance. And we are looking for testimonies across the nation of every testimony that has happened to you while you were in lockdown. 2020. All right, any testimony in 2020, I want you please to email them. They've been coming in. But I'm looking literally for hundreds and hundreds of testimonies. And we're going to put it together because it's going to create faith in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so please send it, email it to the following email address. If somebody could just type it up for me. 2020, my COVID story at gmail.com. 2020, my COVID story at gmail.com. All right, so I'm going to ask that everybody please just email us. English or Afrikaans, if you want to stay um, anonymous, just write the anonymous. We will not put your name on the email, okay? But if you would like your name, you can sign your name. We will put your name in there. And so that everybody can just see that these are ordinary people with supernatural miracles so it can bold their faith. So I'm trusting God that every single family at least send in one testimony so that we can see how God has moved for you in Jesus' name. And we are going to put that book together in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so I just want to remind you, 10 o'clock today is our, off, uh, well, we're going to do it in English today, our English service, Pastor Daddy's going to come on. And then also, our, if you go to um, Father's Art Kids, if you go to Father's Art Kids, the Children's Church are running English and Afrikaans at 10 o'clock today as well. All right, so I really want to encourage you to get your children connected to that because it's going to bless them immensely. We are getting the solid word in. Right, let's deal, uh, deal with our declaration. Folks, let's stand together and let's allow God to move. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. And battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. Lord, right now, I thank you that as we go out, we are going to go out with might, we are going to go out with power, we are going to go out with valor. And Lord, wherever we go, we are going to release life 
and blessing in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and